I already believe you're an alien, so you don't need to. Like, no, I'm, I'm just tell, I'm just I'm clarifying all in on the, to people that this is not like I think this theory is fun as fuck and I love it, but I don't know if it's true. Like people ask me, like, like I think one of the most taboo things to talk about today is like you could talk about fucking or drug, you know, you could talk about anything, but. When anyone goes, hey, uh, where's your spirituality at? Or oh, boy. What? It's, it's, it's like conversation stopper, well, right? Well, you know why? Because anybody who asks it like that is annoying. <laughs> but like... Where's your spirituality at okay, right now, right. David? David. That's like a... That's it's in my blue asshole right now. Someone's henpecking you. But like, what are you doing, David? But like, I've never asked you that. Like, where is... Like, what is your thoughts on <laughs> you God? Just... I did it. I went there. <laughs> like, Well... Considering we're having a podcast, it's very different than someone just bringing it out of nowhere. Um, I am not uh, an atheist. I've never been an atheist. Mm. I've never been someone who says, I know there is no God. Right. What I have been some, uh, someone who has said that a lot of the stories that are in a lot of the religions clearly have the hand of man on them. There's clearly some description that implies things that are okay to do because of the cultural values of people that lived 3,000, 4,000 years ago, whenever they wrote this stuff. Mm -hmm. Clearly, it condones slavery, it can, treats women as second-class citizens. There's a lot in these words that clearly have the hand of man. But there's also some inherent deep wisdom and a moral scaffolding that would make the world a better place and almost all of them there's something there that gives people structure and discipline and connects them in a community of like-minded people who believe the same thing i think there's a great value to that that's underappreciated by people who call themselves atheists mm. i think there's also a great value in if you truly believe you're living your life and you're going to be a good person, you're going to go to heaven, you will, you will have that energy through your life. Mm. You will be carrying the belief, and it will actually aid you in your life. And that if you think this is pointless, it's all, it's all just existential angst, and it's all chaos, like, you live better if you believe that this is all for a better purpose, and this is all a part of a, of a God's plan. That might be true, it might not be true, but you live better if you think that way. Mm. You can do that and still look at facts and reality, and you, you don't have to be ideologically captured by some, some writing that was written down thousands of years ago. Right. You, but you are better off if you believe that this is all for a greater good. Love. Love. Yeah, and that's love. probably what God really is. God is love. And love the what love is as it's at its most pure is a, a force of creation, a force of like adhesion and bonding of human beings. And we know the opposite. The opposite is what's happening right now in Ukraine. That's the opposite. The opposite is That's hate. Yeah, that's murder and fucking whole scale murder. It's wild chaos. I mean, war is hell. It's the worst thing. The worst thing that people do and that exists at the same time on earth with some of the best people enjoying some of the best times together it's it's there's you while you are with your family and you are with your friends and people come over your house and you have dinner and you're laughing and having a good time on some part of the world someone's drinking out of a puddle mm. you know yeah. in some part of the world someone's in an apartment building that just got hit by a missile yeah. You know, it's all happening simultaneously, but we only have the ability to understand what's happening to us. And we, we kind of think these things, we know these things are out there because we watch TV and we watch the news, but we don't believe it. It's, it's like, it's not even a, like, there's people that are calling for, like, war in Ukraine. Like, you don't even know what you're saying. Like, you don't even know what that feeling is. Of being, if you knew, that would be the last thing you would ever want to happen. I fucking love you, man. Like, I love you. I love you, too. And you, too, Jamie, you fucker. Like, I'm not going to leave you out of this. And, and wow. Like, I, and part, like, the, part of the thing, I love what you just said right now. And part of, like, the way I pray is creativity. Like, when I make something, that's, like, that's how I interpret prayer. And what you talked about is, like, this belief. It's, it's faith, right? Yeah. So, um... And part of why 
a lot of things I've done in my life, people have accused me of being suicidal, right? They're like, why are you going into MS-13 territory? Why are you going to the Congo? Why are you going to Bosnia? Why are you going to places that are in conflict? And part of that is like, I like it when it hurts. And I, it's just like, I'm, I'm attracted towards darkness or I was. And, and part of that is just, I don't believe like I watch the news. I watch something and someone tells me I've been to every state in America right? Like most people haven't, most Americans haven't done that. And is there unrest? Is there racism? Is there, yes, there is. But when you try to say everything, like try to make it binary and everything in like black or white, like I've had an amazing time in Texas so far. Right. And all these places that are considered racist. Yeah. I've experienced that also. But even when I go to like Atlanta at a black mall, I went to the wrong mall and everyone's yelling shit to me. If I could find one kid and be like, hey, why are you calling me that shit? And then I bond with him. In that moment, I'm just with him. I've used love. He's, and he didn't run away from me. Like him and all of his friends were doing this. They were like, and I was like, this is like 20 years ago. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, fuck, dude. And they were yelling. They're literally yelling. You came to the wrong mall, bro. Wrong, (laughs) you know? And I was like, oh, shit. And I felt threatened. I felt like, oh, shit, like something's about to happen. And uh, this is 19... 99 or something you know and and so I, I you know because of the religious abuse that i was raised in and and it's crazy because most of the mental health institutions or rehabs i've been into you've heard about sexual abuse physical abuse. you've heard of those abuses i had never heard the word sexual abuse or religious abuse and i'm like it's disproportionately a lot of Orthodox Catholics, Orthodox Jews, hardcore Muslims, hardcore Christians, hardcore Mormons. Like, it's just that, that like organized, like you have to be like this or else you're bad creates so much shame. And, and, and I'm like, fuck God, fuck religion, fuck. But that's like, now I've gone the other side towards hate. And I'm like, I, I'm a loving person. Like I was telling you, like, it's not an accident that you're like the biggest podcast in the world. You're such a sweet, loving you don't like do get in, involved with all this other bullshit podcast drama that all of these other, like you're just loving your love. You're lovable. You are love. And so I always go, I, I tend to be a hater that I'm always pushed to like talk shit or be bitter and fuck everything sucks. And I, I need love to drag me back. And 